Hello friends, welcome to the channel Go PSG. Welcome to a brand new video. I hope all you are doing well. Today we are going to talk about the match between PSG and Brest, which is scheduled to play at 9 pm Paris local time at Brest home ground. Please check here for different timings around the world for this match. PSG will continue their journey in the 2021-2022 League 1 when they visit the stadium Francis Le Play in Brest this weekend for match day 3 of the tournament. As of now, PSG is standing 3rd in League 1 just below Anchor and Clement Food. It's only because of the goal difference where they allowed more goals which is a bit worrying for us. Even though we scored 6 goals in total in this season, we allowed 3 goals from 2 matches. However, once Ramos and Marquinhos tuned up, we can expect less goals to our side. Unless we go with 3 centre backs like Chelsea, we may have to allow more goals to us. If we go with that formation, then the goal for wedding number will be less. As you know, each have its own pros and cons. Currently state breast shows. Yeah, breast is in 11th position in League 1. Last season, they finished 17th, just 4 positions up from the last one. They avoided relegation last season only by 1 point. This tournament, however, they got off to a better start, snatching a point to Lyon and another to Rennes with dramatic equalizer. But now, they'll face the biggest challenge of the season so far. Can we see these three? M and M. Messi, Neymar, Mbappe playing together this time? Guys, I'm waiting for this. Reports are saying Leo would finally make his debut on Sunday, August 29th, when PSG take on Dreams on the road. However, Neymar may start as a substitute in this match. Let's wait and see. Sergio Ramos will not be playing in this game. I heard that he will be out due to an injury till October. Let's go and check for the starting lineup. I don't think Donnarumma is ready yet. Hence, I am going with Kilo Navas as our number one goalkeeper. He didn't have much role in the last game because both the goals happened due to our defenders' mistakes. Hopefully, Marquinhos will start as center back in this match. I am retaining Kimbembe as another one, another centre back, even though he made few mistakes. But other than that, his game was good last time. Our uh, Hakimi will start as right back. He didn't have a good game last time. However, his speed and versatility will help in this match and going forward. Tylo was extremely good in the last match. He got a rating more than 7. So I assume he will be playing as the left back in this match too. For midfielders, Wijnaldum and Herrera will start like the last two games. I'm hoping Verratti to start in this game even though he had a long break. He was playing good in the trainings and hence I am going with him. If he is not starting, then Pereira will start instead of him and later he will come as a substitute. There is a chance that Pardes will be replacing Herrera later in the game. Like the previous games, Mbappe, our last game's man of the match, will start in left wing position. Draxler will start in right wing position, whereas Icardi will retain his position of center forward due to his current goal scoring form. Later Draxler may get substituted by Angel Di Maria and Icardi will get substituted by Neymar. Mbappe will be moving to center forward position once Neymar is in. Even though Messi is not going to play in this match, we can see different attacking combinations combined Neymar, Di Maria and Mbappe at least. Neymar does provide a goal threat but he does agree deal of his work in deeper position and provides a vital link to Mbappe who will constantly look to get in behind the opposition. 
Mbappe often pulls out to the left to take advantage of space Neymar has created by dragging the opposition right back out of his slot and PSG's midfielders will regularly play pass into the space for Mbappe to chase. The Frenchman playing so high up the pitch has other benefits in that it pushes the opposition defenders back and creates more space between the lines for Neymar to operate. However, this won't be that good for us because of uh, breast uh, offside trap games. Anyway, I will come into it later. As mentioned before, Herrera might get replaced by Partez later in the game. Partez is very good in uh, giving long passes so that Mbappe can collect the ball and score the goal there. Can we at least see Messi getting introduced to the match later even for 5 minutes? Uh, as Maria Pochettino insisted that Messi will not play till he completely fit. I hope there is a minor chance he plays so that he, we can straight away put him in the starting lineup in next game on Sunday against Reims. He was excellent in training sessions. Let's have a look into the breast formation now. Like last game, Brest will go with the formation of 4-2-3-1. Huni, Hunaret, Imbok are in form based on last two matches. There are chances we get few counter attacks from the right side, campaigning Honorat and Moni. Mbappe and Ricardi has to take precautions before making the runs here due to the offside trap games as I mentioned before. As you can see from the screen, uh, these are the main characteristics of our opposition team press. Their main strengths are counter attacks, creating scoring chances, attacking down the wings, aerial duels. However, one of the weak, one of their weakness is no, uh, not finishing the scoring chances, which is good for us. And they are also not good at keeping possession of the ball. Their style of play is mainly includes. Uh, taking a lot of shots even outside penalty box uh, play with the width attempt crosses often long balls attacking down the right their defensive strategies are consistent first eleven so which is good their coordination will be better and they are not that aggressive so mostly we can see uh, we uh, will be in their side and they are very good at playing the offside trap as I mentioned before. So more, most of the games they 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 or we we will be playing in their own half. Let's have a look into the player ratings from last game. As you can see, Mbappe had a very good game. He was the man of the match. Not only that, Icardi, Dilo, Traxler, they also had good games. Uh, Navas was more kind of a spectator because of the the goals which they scored was basically from the mistakes of our defenders. Akimi didn't get much chance to involve in any goal scoring chances. Let's have a look into the press players rating. As you can see, Moni, Honoret, and Embok had good games. Others were kind of average. Let's see what they're gonna do in the game with us finally let's get into the prediction so i think we'll score three and we may have to allow one goal so guys please let me know about the comments regarding this video please press the like button if you feel this video to be okay for a beginner vlogger please subscribe for more previews and reviews for PSG Soccer Club.